whenever there's a new set for Pokemon, it's always very hyped, especially the chase cards, the cards that look the coolest. However, cards like Charizard, Pikachu, Mewtwo, and other favorites will always do very well over the course of time. And I want to take a look at the Pokemon section here, the Pokemon index here on Card Ladder. As we can see, it's down 2.74% on average over the past several different time frames however a lot of things are also in the red here but let's just take a look at pokemon really quickly and as we can see over the last three months it's down 7.46 percent so almost seven and a half percent here you can see the value just kind of going down with a little bit of upticks here and there but generally it is going down so why am i making this video well despite the trends going downwards for the whole pokemon tcg landscape we can still see that a lot of cards are doing fairly well charizard first edition hollow uh psa 8 is doing 4 point, uh, 46 percent excuse me the charmander shadowless psa 9 is doing 69 and a half percent and just we can go down the list a lot of green going up up and up and yet you can have a couple cards in the red like this umbreon gx from sun and moon this is a raw card 17.44 percent i mean but then again just generally a lot of green here and for v various different cards from various different sets however a lot of it does appear to be on the vintage side however we have a 2019 hidden fates card we got a 2013 plasma freeze card so it's just really really all over the place the main purpose of this video is to highlight that there is a lot of flexibility and a lot of fluctuation in recent released cards whether that's Paradox Rift that just came out, Obsidian Flame, Paldea, or Scarlet and Violet Base. For Scarlet and Violet Base, the Mirian was like a $100 card on release day. Now it's $40 card, I think it is. I'm not even too sure, to be honest. Then you got Paldea, which on release day, the, the Magikarp was about a $15 card, and that soared up to like $40, $50. Obsidian Flame, all three Charizards were very highly sought after, $100 plus. Now you can get that for well under that tag. And then Paradox Rift, where the Mi uh, the Mila was the chase card, $60, $70 card. But now, last time I checked, it was like a $20 card. So it's just there's a lot of fluctuation with Pokemon cards. However, at the end of the day, a lot of it is in really good hands, whether that's vintage stuff, kind of that mid-range stuff, and of course, some of the newer cards from some of the newer sets, but not the most recent sets you know what i'm talking about like the 2019 hidden fades or maybe it's the shining fades uh, evolving skies but even the evolving skies cards have kind of gone down a little bit but let's look at a month as we can still see again a lot of trends going down and a little bit going up as well but generally it's going down however if we look at the percent change over select cards that card ladder wants to showcase it is typically going up Again, that Umbreon is still minus 17.4%. And then again, you just see 40%, 44%, 77%, 46%. I mean, there's just so much of it going up. However, that is a lot of older school cards. Get a nice 2021 Pikachu SP promo card that's up 26%. I mean, it's just really the Charizard from Shining Fates up 41.47%. So it really isn't just vintage. However, we're not seeing a lot of the newer cards especially from the scarlet and violet era on this list so typically in general considering the whole spectrum of pokemon it's in a really good place however there's of course going to be a lot of volatility with the newer released cards whether that's from the scarlet and violet era cards maybe it's even some of the later sword and shield like lost origin like silver tempest and some of those later released sets there similar to sports and the release of new rookie quarterbacks or new rookie basketball players or whatever it may be you're old school your legends your goats you know fan favorite players will hold value and if you really want to dial it back to a previous video i just released investing in goats long term where i talk about mickey mantle jordan brady lebron curry we can even talk about you know investing in like charizard charmander lugia venusaur just a bunch of fan favorites from pokemon's vintage era from pokemon's first a few legacy sets but that's going to wrap it up for today's video i really hope you like this pokemon discussion video and if you did leave a comment down below let me know so i know to make more of these kind of videos if you have anything that you want to add to the topic 
from today's video please drop that down below in the comments as well hopefully you did enjoy it and if you did smash the thumbs up button and please consider hitting that giant red subscribe button as i greatly appreciate the love and support but that will do it for this video i've queued up an excellent video right here for you guys that i do believe is going to be excellent for your hobby endeavors hopefully i'll see you in that one